Emissions Reduction Alberta is announcing a $280 million program on federal funding, provincial funding, to cut emissions and improve energy efficiency in Alberta. We're going to be talking to Steve McDonald, who's the head of ERA. So welcome to the interview, uh, Steve. Thank you, Mark. It's uh, always great to be talking with you. Well, thank you very much for doing this. Uh, why don't we start with an, an overview of the announcement, please? Great, yeah. So yesterday, as part of the government's broader $750 million tier funding, uh, the Premier announced uh, $280 million uh, in terms of uh, pr provincial and federal support, $180 million from the tier fund provincial and $100 million from the federal low carbon economy leadership fund. And it, it's basically divided between three different program streams. Uh, one stream is called the Shovel Ready Challenge, and that's 150 million. We have energy savings for our business program at $55 million, and then our partnership intake program at $75 million. Right, and some of these are challenges, a couple of them are, but the, the $55 million energy, that program uh, is not, and that's a bit of a departure for uh, ERA, I understand. Yeah, great point is that typically we do run them as calls for proposals, run them through an adjudication process and pick the best project and move forward. The small business one is uh, more a first come first serve. It's based on uh, pre-approval of projects with approved contractors and uh, against a list of technologies that we were familiar with. So essentially you apply, you get pre-approval, and then the small business has the certainty to proceed, and then we uh, refund essentially a proportion of the cost. Now, on the challenge side, I understand that you're looking to uh, support projects in carbon capture and utilization and storage, uh, energy efficiency, geothermal, projects like that. Have I got that correct? Yeah, the, the shovel ready really is about focusing on uh, energy efficiency at the industrial scale. So the projects will range from fuel switching to digitization and optimization around that, waste heat utilization. It can also include more of those game changer technologies that you referenced in terms of carbon capture, storage, um, hydrogen, uh, those sort of uh, longer term. But mainly we expect to see projects that are ready to uh, launch now and can see uh, expenditures, jobs created in the short term. Now, as I understand from your press release, uh, you expect that this will create 5,000 jobs and remove 13 megatons, uh, 13 million tons of GHG emissions uh, by 2030. Uh, so that sounds like a pretty cost-effective uh, investment of public funds to me. Yeah. Because And that's because we leverage private money. Uh, we expect this, our dollars to be leveraged uh, five to one. So over a billion dollars worth of activities because of this $280 million. The small business program is very cost, cost effective. We expect the abatement cost to be about 40 bucks a ton there. So that's very cost effective. Uh, the shovel ready is where the, the big opportunity is. That'll probably deliver around nine megatons and about 3,000 of those 5,000 jobs. So it's a, it's a nice uh, range of projects with different sort of expectations, but uh, the good news is real good economic uh, results and environmental results in the short term. Well, we've, I think that's a pretty good overview of the announcement and how the funds are going to be spent. So this will be the last question, Steve, and that is, my take on this is that uh, a lot of Albertans, maybe most Albertans, don't understand just how much innovation goes on in Alberta. And the various networks and the companies that are spending money and the governments that are in, investing in, in basic science and all, you know, commercialization of technologies. I mean, it's a real hotbed of energy technology. Uh, and programs like this, I think, are absolutely critical uh, to the success of that innovation. And maybe you could just give us a, you know, kind of respond to that. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right, Mark. Um, that uh, Alberta is a world-class leader, and, and we punch far above our weight in terms of the amount of investment and the range of opportunities we're exploring. 
because it's not just in the energy space or the traditional energy space, it's across all sectors from agriculture, electricity, uh, the energy efficiency. So there's a whole range of projects. Uh, the example I can use is ERA itself. You know, since 2009, we've invested over $600 million in $4.4 billion worth of projects. So huge economic uh, activity, uh, GHG reductions approaching 35 megatons by 2030. So great environmental outcomes too. So between the public investment and the private investment, we're seeing some incredible uh, progress here. And, you know, it's about being successful in that low carbon future and Alberta is uh, uh, walking the talk. Steve, uh, always a pleasure. Thank you very much for this. And we'll look forward to chatting with you about the great work that ERA does in the future. Great. Pleasure. Take good care.